Today, you got some pear. You got some pear. Hey. This is how you keep the kids entertained, so you can do a little bit of farm work. Are you watering the plants or yourself? Show mummy. Oh, oh. You're gonna water the plants? Water. What? Yeah, nice. Hi guys and welcome to Bloom and Grow's YouTube channel. Uh, my name's Annie and I'm just in the patch at the moment and I thought I'd be able to show you guys around. A lot of you probably haven't even seen where I'm working and I just, yeah, thought I'd show you the progress so far and where everything's happening in the space that I'll be using to grow all my flowers. So I live here. My husband is over there with the kids. And just down, short walk from the house, is the flower field, which is super handy. I wanted it nice and close, and I'm very grateful that I can have it right outside my door. I'll just take you around to see the progress. My wonderful husband um, did all this stuff because I would not know what to do. So he set up irrigation for me, and we are just using um, some lay flat and into the lay flat we have connected dripper tape and we've put two rows of dripper tape per uh, per bed to go down so in this bed I've planted as you can see some sunflowers which are growing we've got some that are further along than others And it goes right down there. And then in this bed, as you can see, we have used some weed mat. And I have zinnias all in this bed that are growing well. When they get a little bit bigger, I'll be, like this one, I'll be chopping off the top, which is, um, yeah, it's called pinching them. And that will encourage them to branch out lots of branches instead of one one branch going up which will give me a lot more blooms in the long run so as you can see I have a road down the middle beds to the left and beds to the right on this side I'm calling this my annual side so planting everything that is just gonna last for the season and then be taken out it only it won't come back again every year that's this side which is the perennial side um yep i'll be able to plant into here and every year hopefully um it should i should be able to cut them back and they'll come back by themselves every year this side i'll just have to replant every year like sunflowers once you cut them they're they're done and you've got to plant some more again this bed here will be for my dahlias and I have planted some tubers, I've got more to go but as you can see they're already starting to sprout which is great. Let's see if I can see another one, yep. So I put them in the ground about a week ago or a week and a half ago and they're coming along nicely. I'll still have to burn the rest of the holes in this weed mat here and there and at the end of this one I'll just leave this weed mat down the end here I won't burn holes in it yet because I don't want weeds coming through because I'm saving a few beds for the cool weather flowers that I'll plant out or in next year in the in the autumn so I'm just leaving some beds spare for that so over this side is the perennial side and at the moment I've been planting out some yarrow in this one 
and I'll have to burn holes in this weed mat still. Might do that soon actually. Well, I've got some daylight and Mark watching the kids, was watching the kids. <laughs> oh well, Esther's there having a party, eating some pear, love and life. I've got some artichokes in this row and butterfly bush and I've got lots of space here to plant out um, when I need to. We've made the rows, as you can see, we've made the rows pretty wide. Um, we wanted to do that so we could fit the, you can kind of see it all the way down there. The push mower. <laughs> wanted to fit the push mower down the middle. So at the end of the perennial section, I have a row of roses. It's not filled with roses yet. I've got about four, four or five bushes and I'll slowly build that up over time. And right beside this, the row of roses, I have a row of silver dollar trees that are just babies at the moment. And in a few years, these will be great for filler, which I'll love to have a steady amount of filler because most of my bouquets are just flowers at the moment because I don't have a lot of filler around that I can use but I got a good line of trees there that will grow and some of this what's this Acacia, something or other. And then beside them, I have a row of natives that I'll be letting grow up. Some protea bushes. So something we've been using to suppress weeds is the weed mat behind me but to get the holes in it to plant the seedlings into we have to we have to burn it so to burn the holes in the weed mat my husband made a, a template with a hole saw and then we just use this gas burner and burn the holes and you have to burn the holes and not cut them because if you just cut the weed mat, it'll just continue to fray and fray, whereas this will, it just seals all the edges and makes a nice little hole for you to plant into. We did lots of holes too, and you can choose whether you want to burn them like 15 centimeters apart or just burn every second hole and do every 30 centimeters apart for the, the more bushier or bigger plants that need more space to grow. So it just depends what you're planting out as to how close you burn the holes. This is the seedlings I still have to plant out, so there is a fair few to, to go still, but they're still needing a little bit more time to grow, some of them. But these trees have done well, 
these trays actually used to be used for watermelons. Hey. Hey. Hello. Thanks for coming along and having a look at everything. Um, stay tuned to see how it all goes. This is like, this is my second year of trying to grow some cut flowers. Last year was a lot smaller scale and not very organized. And um, this year it's, it's definitely a lot bigger and a, a lot more preparation gone into it. So I'm really hoping that it turns out well, um, but it's all learning, it's all trial and error. And um, yeah, just come along for the journey, see how it all goes. And hopefully we get some beautiful flowers to give people. A bit weird because <laughs> I just dyed my hair and I was I have been blonde my whole life <laughs> but I'm embracing my natural roots that are coming through I've gone a lot darker since my two kids so yeah anyway I'm just like distracted by my head <laughs> don't feel like me <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway <laughs> thanks for <clears throat> that you can 